are torques positive or negative? So we have a pivot point, say here at the center of this circle, and we have a whole set of forces. And we'd like to know, are these making positive torques or negative torques? So first of all, positive is defined to be counterclockwise. So any force that would tend to twist this wheel counterclockwise is a positive torque. Anything that would twist it clockwise is a negative torque. Force A, it's pointing directly away from the pivot. So it's not actually trying to twist it, right? It's trying to pull the wheel, but it's not trying to twist it counterclockwise or clockwise. A is making no torque. What about B? B is pulling this way and the pivot is here. Now, one way to view this is to imagine it radially. Like here's the radial direction. And if B were pulling straight out, it wouldn't turn. And if B is pulling on this side, that would make it go positive, and B is on this side, so B makes, makes a negative torque, and A makes zero torque. What about C? If we draw the radial line here, C is clearly pulling this way, pulling to the left of it, so that is a positive torque. I'll show another way of understanding this as well, if this isn't clear. So D, well D is pulling this way so the wheel would turn like this, so D is making a negative torque. E is pointing directly at the center. It's not trying to twist the wheel, it's trying to move it. So E makes zero torque. What about F? F is pulling down on the left, because the pivot's over here. And so that is causing this, so this is a positive torque. G. G is also on the left and pulling down, and that is also going to make a counterclockwise positive torque. H. H is pointing sort of towards the center, but not exactly. Right, you think of its line of action that way or you can think of the radial this way, and it's pushing a little on this side of the radial line, so it's going to push it this way, which is negative. So H makes a negative torque. If that way doesn't appeal to you, here's another method. For each force, we draw what's called the line of action, essentially the line through the vector. So A has this for a line of action. B has this for a line of action. C has that for a line of action. Uh, D has that for a line of action. E has this for a line of action, and so on. What we do is imagine a circle centered at the pivot point, and imagine expanding that circle until it hits the line of action. So, well, in the case of A, it's directly on it. So if the Pivot is on the line of action, no torque. So for A, no torque. For E, no torque. It's not twisting it in either direction, it's just trying to push or pull. Zero for A and zero for E, just as we found before. Now suppose it's not passing through the pivot. So let's take B. Imagine a circle around here, expand the circle out until it touches the line of action. So for B, it would be about this big. Now imagine B is right here pulling in the direction it's going. Which way would that turn the wheel? Well, it's turning it to the right. It's turning it clockwise. So B is a negative torque. A C, likewise, pretty much the same circle, except C is pulling that way to the right. And so C is producing a positive torque. D. The circle is the entire circle, uh, because its line of action is just tangent to the circle, and it's pulling to the right on top, so that is making a negative clockwise torque. F has a line of action like this, and the circle would be about this big, and if you imagine F here, 
it's pulling down on the left, which would turn the wheel counterclockwise, so that's a positive torque. G has the exact same line of action and produces the exact same torque. G is also making a positive torque. If these are the same size force and they're on the same line of action, they make exactly the same torque which can be handy. It means you can slide a force along its line of action without messing up the torque calculation. So you could actually move the force someplace easier, so long as it stays on the line of action. And H, H has a line of action tilted like this. So its circle would be about like so. And it would be pulling this way, which is turning it clockwise. So H is a negative torque. Same answers as before. One more time, and now we'll put another change in the problem. Let's suppose the pivot point is not in the center. What if the pivot point was, say, here at the top? So if that is our pivot, that is going to change some of our answers. Because relative to that pivot, some torques might have switched from positive to negative or vice versa. Let's find out. A has a line of action here. You can do it either the radial line way, in which case it's pulling left, so it's making a positive torque. Or you can imagine the pivot circle coming like this, and A is pulling right on the bottom, which is counterclockwise. So A is now making a positive torque, where before it made zero torque. So the torque depends on your choice of pivot. Some things will not depend on the choice of pivot, like the grand sum of the torques. If it's zero with one choice of pivot, it'll be zero with another, because either there's a twist or there isn't. Now B. B has a line of action here. And its circle around the pivot would be like this. And B is pulling to the right on the bottom, so B would make a positive torque. C. C has a line of action, like so, and it's pulling to the right on the bottom of its circle around the pivot, so that is also a positive torque. D is sitting on the pivot, and if you're on the pivot, you make zero torque. E is also on the pivot, so it makes zero torque. F. F has this line of action. So its circle would be about this big. And it's pulling down on the left, which is counterclockwise. So F makes a positive torque. G is on the same line of action and points the same way. So it will make the same sign of torque. G is positive. We don't have to redo it. H, finally has its line of action this way. It's, just to use a different color here, a uh, circle would be about this big, and H would be pulling that way on it, because you can slide it along its line of action. So it's pulling like that, which is clockwise, so that's a negative torque.